So my son Edmund was born without a left hand. Um, he, we found that out about eight weeks old when he was in my stomach. And um, from that day on, I just resolved that Edmund was born that way and that he was perfect and he was whole. One day, someone asked me what happened to your arm. I usually say, I was just born like that. I focused on getting him a prosthesis that we could use as a tool, um, much like you would a hammer or screwdriver, um, so that he could learn how to ride a bike, for example. I reached out to the garage uh, at Microsoft and asked for volunteers if anybody knew how to 3D print a prosthesis. And um, Anthony Sio and uh, Matt Fleming came forward and they volunteered to print this prosthesis for Edmund. I got a 3D printer over the Christmas holiday and I was been tinkering around with 3D printing and that's when I saw Amy's email on the garage DL. She was asking if anybody knew anything about 3D printing, so uh, I responded, basically say, I don't know how to produce a 3D prosthetic arm, but you know, I'll, be, I'll be willing to try if nobody else you know, volunteers. We did our best. We looked up the instructions, um, we followed, followed those guides, we took the measurements, and three weeks later we were able to produce an arm. And matter of fact, the arm that we produced wasn't supposed to be the final arm. We were just like, we, we thought we were gonna screw it up the first time. We thought we were gonna come up with like uh, something that just wasn't working at all. And we just got really lucky. It fit perfectly, he loved it, he was already picking things up. They printed this out for us. It cost exactly like $25. It was amazing. Um, and uh, Edmund was really excited because it was the first time he was able to pick up a box with his left arm or even like a piece of plastic, or play two, with two Pokemons in his hands. I'm inspired by Satya's message and Microsoft's message that we are here to empower other people in the world to do more, to achieve more. And that was really our goal with this prosthetic arm, was to give Edmund and other children like him an opportunity to do more. Because a prosthetic arm is not something that's gonna make you whole. They, they are already whole, they are who they are. It is a tool like a screwdriver or a wrench. It allows them to do specific tasks that they were may not have been able to do before. So our goal with this prosthetic hand was to allow him the opportunity to ride a bike, to be able to write with a pen, and just do those two things really well so that he could use it whenever he needs it as a tool to allow him to be more empowered, to allow him to achieve more through what he wants to do. 